Let's talk about overcoming negative emotions. Sometimes we're living in a world that's very angry, very anxious, and these are extremely corrosive to your soul. When we are collapsing on the inside with anger, imploding or exploding, ruining relationships, or when we are anxious and we're just, it's eating us away. Worms eat people when they're dead. Anxiety eats people up when they're alive. These are really destructive emotions that we don't need to have. You actually don't have to be anxious. You don't have to be angry. Emotional resilience is really important in a world with a lot of pressure. When you got pressure coming from the left and the right, from the front, from behind, from your past, from worrying about the future, people over you, giving you worries, and people you're responsible for, making you angry, frustrated, all of that is going to only collapse you in life. So there is an answer, and it's called joy. Joy is one of the most health-giving and healing emotions you can have. This joy, though, isn't rooted in what is happening in your world. It doesn't depend on your circumstances. It doesn't depend on listening to comedy or just laughing about because once that's gone, you can just sink right back into that place of despair or depression. This joy actually comes from Christ himself. If you've never reached out to him, I'd urge you to do that today. Because one encounter with him and joy comes into your heart, healing sadness, healing grief. It's a joy that comes from his presence. He doesn't break bruised reeds or snuff out smoldering wicks on a candle. Isaiah tells us that, an Old Testament prophet. He fans that little spark into flame again with joy. And it can almost seem unusual that we are joyful in spite of our circumstances. Life has plenty of problems in it. And trying to get above those problems can be really difficult. So one of the ways that people in the Bible discovered that joy and people in history, there was a little book written by a man called Brother Lawrence called Practicing the Presence of God. And he was continuously joyful not because of his circumstances. He lived in extremely poor circumstances, rough circumstances, sacrificial circumstances as a, as a monk did in his time. But he focused on God. He comprehended that God was close and he put his mind on that fact. And joy came into his soul. That's what Paul, the apostle, had when he was in prison, in chains. When he looked to the Lord, joy filled his soul. I would say that joy is one of the greatest gifts that God can give us in a world of despair and darkness. And we have access to that joy. Isaiah, that Old Testament prophet I talked about before, he also said, draw water from the wells of salvation and you'll draw joy like water from a well. That means when you receive Christ, a fountain is created within you. And when you are in pressure or in times of trouble, you can actually draw on that and begin singing, worshiping God and finding peace on the inside that comes from having a healed heart connected to Christ. I pastor a, a number of churches around the world called C3. 
If you would like to reach out and make connections, please do with the C3 Church online or in person. We'd love to see you one day. You have a joyful day. God bless.